Oh man, guacamole! Guacamole! Hey guys, thanks for coming back to my channel this week. This week's video is going to be a short video. I'm gonna make guacamole, and I don't really have like all of the exact ingredients I want, but that's what we do on my own drum. Just get what we have and make it work. I haven't had lime juice like the last three times I've made guacamole. I've just put like little splashes of lemon juice in and it works just fine. I also have dried cilantro, not fresh cilantro. And that's fine. I just forgot to pick some up at the store. I'm not going back out. It is what it is. The first thing we're gonna do is half the avocados. Just take my knife and go all the way around. And then what? And then I just take one of my larger spoons and just go around the edges. I do cut this up a little bit because it, it just makes it easier to match. Cut your red onion. I don't peel my onions before I cut them because it's a pain in the butt. I peel them up after I cut off the ends. Cut that in half, set you off to the side. This is my favorite way to cut an onion. Like if I have to dice it really small. My husband taught me this. Alton Brown probably taught him that. And then, because they already have all the layers and we just cut it horizontally, now you can go in it this way and it's already going to be cut in like little pieces because of the layers. I like the pieces to be small, so I just take my knife and I hold the tip of it, but then I like rock it all the way over. And I just keep going back and forth. Oh, I oh, can't see! Ah, I can't see! Ah. Not putting all of these in there. That looks like a lot of onion. Let me don't want those gloves, Danny. Surgery! Ha ha. Man, I don't mess around when it comes to jalapenos. Or like if I'm cutting a hot pepper, no. So I wear gloves. I'm not messing with that. Not open here. These we're gonna slice in just like thin little strips. If you want it super spicy, leave all the seeds and stuff in. And if you don't like spicy at all, don't put the jalapenos in. I'm gonna mash this a little bit. As far as what seasonings and spices to use, that's really up to your discretion. Most of the time there's gonna be a little cumin and salt and pepper. I also put red pepper flake and like I said, I have dried cilantro. It is so much better with fresh cilantro. But just use what you got. It's not a big deal. All right, so I have most of that mashed up. I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasonings and just a little bit of lemon juice. Like I said, usually it's lime juice. But I'm gonna do my own thing. Get some on my shirt. Guacamole! Guacamole! I don't mind if it's chunky too. Like, I don't need my guacamole to be super smooth. Dude, it's so good. Oh man. It's a good thing it's already 7 o'clock. Cat's gonna be home soon. If I'd have made this earlier, I don't, he wouldn't have got any of this. You know what, get creative with your guacamole. I got a friend who she puts like black olives and like pieces of tomato in it. That's fine, but you wanna put some green pepper in it, that's fine. Sometimes I do that. Most of the time this is just it. I just like a really simple guacamole. Oh, whenever you store your guacamole too, like it'll turn brown. You gotta take saran wrap and press it down on top of it. Like press it on the guacamole and then put your lid on it and it'll stay for the most part green for like two days. Guacamole never lasts two days in this house. This, this entire bowl will be gone tonight. Dude, that was really good. All right, guys, if you like this week's video, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please. 
and hit that notification bell. You'll be notified every time I post a new video, which is every Sunday. And until next week, guys, just keep on marching to the beat of your own drum.